How's it going everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is five classic drum fill song intros. Now, when I'm talking about drum fills that start songs, I mean drum fills, not drum grooves, because there's a lot more drum grooves that start songs than drum fills. But I think I picked five really good ones to demonstrate here in this video today. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the easiest to the most difficult, at least in my opinion, of these drum fills. The very first one today is from the song Ain't Too Proud to Beg, a classic Motown tune that has one of the most classic drum fills ever recorded. This song was recorded by The Temptations. I'm sure you've heard it before. It's a classic tune. And the band behind The Temptations were the Funk Brothers. Now the Funk Brothers recorded in Detroit, then moved to LA when Motown moved to LA, and they've played on just about every classic Motown tune you've ever heard. The drummer on this particular track was Uriel Jones. Now there's a few different drummers in Motown, and they all played, they had a similar style, but this one is just super classic. And it goes like this. One, two, one, two. That's the whole fill. Slower. Even slower. And even slower. Back up to tempo. When you play that fill pretty fast, and especially when you extend it over the top of each other, you keep repeating it, it can be a great fill in any style of music, rock and roll, whatever you want. Sort of like this. And that all came from the simple fill that opens up Ain't Too Proud to Beg. Just like that, see? All right, let's move on to fill number two, another classic from the Commodores, Brick House. The drummer on that track is Walter Clyde Orange, who's also the lead singer on that tune. When they went out and performed that tune later on, they had someone else playing drums so Walter could go, could go out front and sing the song. But on the track and in the recording, it's him singing and playing drums. One more time with the fill. Now to get this fill sounding really authentic, you need a drum kit with single heads, really dead sounding, maybe some towels or a lot of, a lot of you know, moon gel. It's because it's a really dead sound on the recording, which is fantastic. When you have regular wide open drums like this, it still sounds equally cool. Now there's a tie-in to the first drum fill from Ain't Too Proud to Beg and this fill from Brick House, the very beginning. It's that same double stroke roll sort of drag sound. Which is just right, right, left, left, right. Okay, a five stroke roll. There you go. Second fill of five classic drum fills to open up songs. Let's get to fill number three. This one is one of the most classic of all time. Moby Dick, Led Zeppelin, John Bonham the drummer. Here we go. One more time. Now that could have easily been the very first fill in this series because that one is really easy. The hard part of that fill is just playing it with passion and verve. You know, hitting every hit is a rim shot, okay? All the power goes into those notes and it's not technically hard to play. It's just, you've got to give it life, okay? That's what I mean by that. So one more time with, with energy and verve, here we go. Two, 
John Bonham, one of the greatest drummers of all time. All right, on to drum fill number four. This is another classic metal song from the 80s. Lee Kerslake is the drummer, Ozzy Osbourne is the artist, and this is the fill from the song Over the Mountain. One more time. Woo, that one's a lot of fun. That fill, it's really pretty simple, just based on triplets, but where triplets lay, for me sometimes is a hard thing, especially when you bring in the independence of having that kick drum there. It's all based around Right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, okay? And then it's just orchestrated on the kit, on the drum kit. What I find hard is playing those triplets fast, I think is even harder than playing them slow. I'll demonstrate a little bit, here we go. The hardest part I find here is getting back to the snare drum for that double hit and then back to the toms because you don't have a lot of time to move back and forth. So it's a lot of this sort of motion with your left hand. And, lot, and you have to also pick up the stick so it doesn't hit the side of your drum. So it's, it's kind of a hard groove. You see a lot of great metal drummers where they lift their hands really high and that's awesome. If you can do that, that's great. Um, I play a little bit lower like this so it's, it's definitely difficult for me to kind of get back and forth that fast. But practice slowly and then you gradually speed up and you'll be nailing this fill no problem. Another cool thing you should try with a fill like this, just that triplet fill, is to do it where you lead it with your left hand. Then it's really cool because you're going around the kit, especially with a right-handed kit, you're going around tonally, sort of like correctly, right? From high to low with the, with the sound of the drums. It's like this. If you can get that up to speed, it's also really cool because it leads you around to hitting a crash with your right hand easier because you're le the leading hand is sort of pushing you towards that downbeat, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Okay, there you go. That was fill number four. Now for last but not least, fill number five. This is from drummer Cozy Powell. The song is called Stargazer. The band is Rainbow, classic metal band from way back in the day. Richie Blackmore, Ronnie James Dio singing. Cozy Powell was a killer drummer. It's really cool and he did this. One more time. That one's a lot of fun. It's almost like a little mini drum solo. Let me break this big old drum fill down for you. One section at a time. Here's the first section. Now for the second section, you need to either have a double pedal or a fast main kick drum foot, which you can easily do it with a single pedal. Double pedal makes it just a tad bit easier, I think. It's all based around right left, right foot, left foot. Okay? Two hands, two feet. Da 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 da. Just like this. This particular section is four bars long. And how he orchestrates it is the first two hits are on the snare drum and then he breaks it up to where it's snare tom kick kick for the other three beats, okay? Mm -hmm. 
At a slow tempo, it's not too hard, but when you have it up to speed, the, the tempo of the song, it sounds like this. Then, if you play that same pattern even faster, I'm sure you've heard it in many songs, many rock songs throughout the ages. There's so many great drummers that can do that way better than I can. And just you pick up the tempo on that and it sounds killer. Let me try and demonstrate how, how it sounds when you play it really fast. <sighs> Wish me luck. Throw that in one of your drum solos and everybody's gonna go, yeah, that kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. But let me put the section one and section two of this fill together right now and then we'll break it down the little last section and you got the whole thing in your hands. Here we go. Let me finish off this fill for you right now. This section of the fill starts with a flam, then kick drum hi-hat at the same time while you're opening the hi-hat, the kick drum hits at the same time. That kind of thing. There you go. And this last section of the fill takes up two bars. So it's All right, let me put this whole thing together one more time. It's like this. There you have it everybody, five classic drum fills that are intros to songs. There's many more out there, and I think I'm going to do another video with another five songs pretty soon here. There's also lots of songs where drum grooves start the tune. There's just a ton of it out there. So if you like what you saw, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, give me some suggestions of some other songs, and we'll see you again next time.